Dear friends, good morning on Saturday the 6th of June. We've been thinking this week about the power of words and the need for self-control when it comes to our speech. It would be easy to conclude from what we've been saying that anger is always wrong. For instance, Proverbs 29.22 says, An angry person stirs up conflict and a hot-tempered person commits many sins. But sometimes it's godly to get angry. Now, often our anger is sinful. It's provoked by our own selfishness and intolerance. But there is another kind of anger, righteous anger, against evil and sin. And that's rooted in a love for what is good and just. When we do not become angry at injustice and at other people's hardness of heart against God and the vulnerable, it's wrong not to be angry, because these things made Jesus angry. Now, as we've seen, there is widespread anger at the moment at the murder of George Floyd, so vividly and horrifically caught on camera. Black Lives Matter is an expression of the righteous anger against racism and prejudice. God hates racism. He hates partiality. And he hates murder, and they make him angry. If God reacts like this, then so should we. Romans 12 verse 9 says, Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Isn't it interesting that the first application of genuine love is hatred? It's ungodly to be apathetic. It's ungodly not to be angry in the face of evil. Mere sympathy for the oppressed is not enough. If I found out that one of my children had been abused, I would be filled with intense grief and anger, and that would be a righteous response. If we don't feel anger at injustice, we should question the depth of our love for God and for our neighbours. Proverbs 29.7 says the righteous care about justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. So what should anger at injustice lead to? Well, first of all, prayer. May he defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. May he crush the oppressor. That's Psalm 72 and verse 9. But note it's not up to us to crush, crush the oppressor. Righteous anger is never an excuse for violence and rioting nor for hatred of individuals or governments, even though we may hate what they do. And nor is the empty virtue signalling that we've seen everywhere an adequate response. No, when we see racism, violence, corruption, crooked justice systems, oppression and exploitation and abuse, then we must contend in a godly way for justice. That might mean lobbying our MPs, supporting agencies that are seeking justice, helping individuals who are victims, and caring for the poor and the oppressed in our own communities. But even more than this, we need to look deeply into our own hearts to see if these attitudes lurk within us and repent deeply of them, knowing that Jesus died so that we, we could be forgiven for our sinful and racist attitudes and show the world a new way, a new way of living. For there is neither Jew nor Gentile, nor slave nor free, nor is there male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. God bless you today.